The closing years of the 11th century was a time of turmoil for the Khmer Empire. Already under Uriaditya Varman II, there had been several rebellions, and his younger brother and successor, Harsha Varman III, would fail to keep up with them. His reign lasted from 1066 until somewhere around 1080, when it was usurped by Jai Varman VI. He in turn probably had no legitimate claim to the throne, and so this is where the dynasty of Jai Varman II ends. The new dynasty, which would remain in power for over a century, was called the Mahidarapura, the name coming from the king's ancestral hometown. Around the same time, the Champa decided to invade, destroying temples and enslaving those living nearby. In the tumult, it's possible that the empire was split into two, with a king called Nripatindra Varman reigning at Angkor. The lack of any monuments or inscriptions there by either Jaya Varman or a successor points towards this. Instead, we see that he built a grand temple at Pimai in Thailand, which is where it's believed to have come from. In 1107, Jayavarman was succeeded by his elder brother, Dharanindravarman. Ruling for the next six years, he was eventually killed in battle and usurped by his great-nephew, Suryavarman II. 